okay, I have my sodalite. I have the GoPro. We are doing it. What is up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the topic of etheric cords or energetic cords. Stick around, be sure to subscribe, and let's get into this topic. <laughs> So before I dive into this topic, just know that I'm probably going to interchange the terms etheric cords and energetic cords. They're the same thing. Okay, so don't get don't get all confused on me. Okay, so etheric cords are essentially energetic cords that are created when two people connect with one another. The deeper the relationship, the stronger the cord. And through every interaction that we have, thought, emotion triggered, or any intimate moment that we have with another human human being, this cord continues to grow, okay? And it creates a connection between the two individuals where their energy and frequency are shared between each other, okay? So etheric cords act like hoses with energy directed back and forth from the two people. So this is the thing, when, when the cord or the relationship is healthy, it's actually a positive thing and it can bring a lot of, you know, love and vibrancy and an energetic short source to the two people. But when it is unhealthy, it can definitely like often lead to feeling controlled or unhappy in the relationship and just feeling drained or that there's not an uneven exchange of effort in the relationship. So, you know, many times when life happens and, you know, there's a breakup or a divorce or something along those lines or just a parting of ways with another individual, you know, sometimes it might be hard to just let it go, right? And this is usually an indication that there is still a strong etheric cord between you and this person. In fact, you know, what I have learned throughout my own journey is that it's, it's, wise to just kind of honor the cycles of your life and the relationships that come and go. And, you know, when you realize that it's time to walk away from a certain person or a certain relationship, even you honoring that and taking, you know, a moment just to, you know, say thank you for the experiences, thank you for the growth and, you know, moving on can really help when it comes to cutting cords or just, you know, amicably, energetically leaving that relationship. So, you know, most of us intuitively will know whether the cord is strong or not with another person. But if you feel unsure, like, oh, do I have a cord with this person? Do I not? A great way to measure that is like how much you feel towards them still or how, you know, how much you think about them. Um, you know, we're constantly, and here's the thing, like we're constantly creating cords with other people, um, you know, even through the smallest interactions. So it's definitely important important to clear our energy and to, you know, make sure that, you know, at the end of the day, our energy is ours. So there's so many different things that you can do to, you know, make sure that, you know, your cords are cut, your energy is yours. I'm going to have a bunch of other videos that you can watch with some exercises and tools and tips for, you know, things that you can do that you can incorporate into your day to, you know, regain your power, cut the cords, feel good and all of that great stuff. With that being said, you know, this is definitely a topic that's very, uh, very talked about in the spiritual community because it is real. It's definitely a real thing. And I think that, you know, at the end, you know, at the end of any relationship, like I said, I think that it's important to not only, you know, you go and you clean up your stuff from the person's house or, you know, you do things in the physical world that stop the relationship, right? You kind of end it. You end the physical relationship. Now you need to do it on the energetic level. You have to do it on the spiritual level in order to really part ways um, and to go, to go your own way. <laughs> oh my God, 
I can't believe I did that. Anyway, so be sure I'm going to have a guided cord cutting meditation down below that you can check out. Um, you can, I'll also give you guys a link below to do a calling your power back meditation. These two things are really great exercises that you can do and will definitely help. So thank you guys for coming. I hope everyone's doing well and be sure to subscribe and hang out and you know, do all the things and, and yeah, subscribe. Come hang out with me. All right, guys, I'll see you later.